We've uh, built a treehouse slash playhouse slash fort for the grandkids. First thing we did is we had the power company mount these poles, telephone poles, power poles. They're spaced at centers 12 feet apart. This line of poles is five feet taller than the outer line of poles. When we get to the top, we'll see why we did that. So then what we did is we went to Home Depot. We bought big pallets of uh, the wood three of the two by 12s by 16 and we stretched it on both sides of the center poles here. These are two by 12 by 16 and uh, put them on first with screws and then later we put galvanized lags. So the first thing we did once we got to get started, we marked each one of these at nine feet above the ground. So our first set of stairs to get us to the first level we decided to put it on the external. So we basically have a 25 by 25 foot platform. But what we wanted to do was try and make it so each level is a little different. We, we were trying to get away from a box look. So the first level is nice and uh, square with the 25 by 25. You look at the second level, we've left one section open and then we cantilevered it out there and on the back side to kind of give it just a different shape and then when you go to the top it's generally square but it's cantilevered out this way with another section that's totally out cut out so that you can kind of talk to the first level can talk to the second level second level can talk to the third level and the first level we're on the first level we needed to figure out a good way to get to the second level uh, we were able to acquire this kit of the spiral stairs and uh, we installed that kit. So that's how we get to the second level. One of the things we wanted to do is make sure we had a nice solid railing. We were fortunate enough that we had access to this stuff. Um, so we had enough for the first and second level. They came in sections, we had to cut them off. They're connected at the top and the bottom with uh, 10 inch lags. So they're extremely secure. This level we've sort of set up a little bit how it's going to be set up. We have kids playing here, so we've hung some of these, these three little pod tents. We've got a nice setup here so you can sit and chat and uh, enjoy people's company. And then on the next levels, we'll set up different things. I'm heading up the spiral staircase. Even the dogs can do this. Come on, guys. Look, you have visitors. Yep. This is the old, old folks clubhouse. And then this is the open area on the second level. It goes up to the third level. Here's the steps that take us from the second level to the third level, top level. Um, by having this cantilevered out, it allowed us enough space to, uh, to put these steps in and make them a straight shot. The other thing that these steps do that's good is it stiffens up the structure. On the top level, the third level, we ran out of the railing, which was too bad, so we had to make this railing. So we took the two by sixes, ripped them in three pieces, and we cut them out into four foot sections, painted them, and then we've assembled them to where it's nice and stiff. For a cone, this is a four inch gap, and the height is about a six inches higher than it needs to be. But we're hoping that we've made it such that all the mothers will feel okay with their kids playing up here. And as you remember, I said, we left the three center poles taller than the outside poles. What we've done is we've put in this uh, 32 by 20 foot roof. So that uh, it's a metal roof. By looking down at the second level, you can see that that is counter levered out about four feet compared to this one. So this is the open area, and while we were building it, we ran on that part that's cantilevered out temporarily three uh, two by sixes there and on the far side so that we were able to go out and work on the roof. This level kind of has a different feel. The first level, you feel totally into the trees. Second level, you start to feel like you're starting to emerge from the trees. 
But on the third level, you've definitely come up higher than the trees. So by being up here, totally different feel than when you're down, down lower. We went to Home Depot and we bought two of these. They were a lifesaver. Screws, lags, bolts, no nails. So these, these are good. These are really good. Another fun fact, once we're starting to work up here, we always were tied off by at least two ropes. A lot of what we were doing is lifting two by 12 by 12s, two by to the next level. So there would be days when we'd spend three, four hours in the morning just getting our supplies to where we were gonna work. If you're looking at building something like this and you're 60 plus, probably plan on 120 plus days. Not swaying very much anymore. Early era on, before the railing and everything was up, a lot of sweat. We took the center right here. We came out, set amount of distance, same on both sides. Then we found out where the center was for the top piece. So see this board here, down there, it's right square, right on top of the, the pole. But when it's up here, it's four inches off. So we had to make sure that this thing was square regardless of where the poles were. So when it comes to telephone poles, they've got these uh, holes pre-drilled. So when we were on the first level, I needed to climb up here and put these ropes in so that we had safety ropes. So we have our 30 foot ladder, we're stringing it and, and putting all these safety ropes in. Got this one pole in the middle. Could have cut it off, but I think this pole might be really good for stringing a hammock but the power company told me these things should be good for 60 years. Just a quick fun fact, to put these nine poles in, the poles, the crew, it took them about four hours, three and a half hours, ended up costing about $7,000. I've probably been up and down these things three, 400 times with a ladder, so these stairs are much nicer. Even old people can get up and down here. Here are the spiral staircases. And just a fun fact, they're not that good if you're hauling stuff up and down them. 